My name is Dr. Harry Witchell, and this is a screencast explaining how to answer an exam question that asks you to draw the action potential of a cardiac myocyte from the ventricle. Keep in mind that cardiac action potentials vary depending on where in the myocardium the cell is, so the action potential drawn in this screencast is an idealized action potential, and there are other similar action potentials that come from the ventricular myocardium. When drawing a cardiac action potential for an exam, you will need to show both the units and the approximate values. Start by drawing some axes, as shown here. You should label the axes and also include the units. The y-axis is membrane potential, and it is measured in millivolts, which is abbreviated MV. The x-axis is time, and it is measured in milliseconds, which is abbreviated MS. The axes here have the x-axis intersect the y-axis at zero. When drawing a ventricular action potential, keep in mind that it should last approximately 350 milliseconds in total. To draw an action potential, first show the resting membrane potential, which is at minus 80 millivolts. Don't forget to label the axis showing this value. This part of the action potential is often referred to as phase 4. Then the voltage should go upward nearly vertically. This line should stop at plus 30 millivolts. This is the depolarization phase, also known as phase 0. Next, the voltage decreases by approximately 20 millivolts over the course of 20 milliseconds. This phase is known as the transient outward current, or phase 1. Next comes the plateau phase, also known as phase 2. This phase lasts approximately 200 milliseconds and is often schematized as a horizontal line. But in reality, it is slightly dome-shaped, and it will go up approximately 10 millivolts and then decrease by slightly more than that. The overall effect is that the top of the action potential will have what is called a spike and dome morphology. The next phase is rapid repolarization, also called phase 3. It goes down to the resting membrane potential at a diagonal such that it lasts approximately 100 milliseconds. Note that the link between the plateau phase and repolarization should be rounded and continuous. It should not be a sharp corner. The time duration between the beginning of depolarization and when repolarization returns should be approximately 350 milliseconds. Remember to label the x-axis so that it shows the duration of the action potential clearly. You then draw the membrane potential holding steady at the resting membrane potential. This is the return to phase 4. That completes the drawing of the ventricular action potential. Thank you for watching.